everyone, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel. In today's sewing tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this long open cardigan that has a hood on it. Recently I had a request asking if I could do a long flowy cardigan, so this is what I came up with because I love long sweaters like this with the hoods that are just so cozy and comfortable. So I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and if you do, please give the video a thumbs up and I would so appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more easy to sew tutorials. And let's go ahead and get out of this blizzard practically and get sewing. To make this cardigan, you'll need at least two yards of a stretchy sweater knit fabric, plus a hoodie or sweater with a hood on it to use as a template. I used a more fitted sweater, but if you prefer a looser fit, you can use a less fitted piece for the template. I've turned the sweater on its side just so you can see the whole thing, and you'll begin by folding your sleeve into the center of the sweater to get it out of the way, adjusting it along the seam so you can see the curved shape of the sweater's armhole like so. Move the other sleeve into the center and adjust it as well so now you can see both armholes clearly. Fold the hood down out of the way as well, adjusting it so that it's folded right along the curved seam along the back of the neckline. Finally, fold your sweater in half right down the center, and this is what we'll use as a basic guide to make our cardigan. Fold a portion of your fabric over slightly larger than your template, making sure that it's able to stretch in the direction the arrows are going so that the cardigan will stretch around you once it's done, and lay your template onto the fabric so that the folds line up. Begin cutting a half inch larger than your template for seam allowance by following the shape of the neckline, shoulder, armhole, and side, although when I got to the side, I cut almost an inch wider just to give a little extra room. Cut to whatever length you'd like, adding a half inch to the bottom as well for hem allowance. When you remove the sweater and unfold your fabric, you'll have a shape like this, which will be the back of the cardigan, but you'll actually want to keep it folded in half because we'll use this as a guide to cut out our two front pieces. Fold another portion of fabric over and lay that back cardigan piece onto the fabric so that the folds are spaced about two inches apart. And this will give you a little extra room on the front of the cardigan after hemming it. I'm sorry the fabric kind of blends together here, but here's the fold of your fabric. And here's the fold of the back cardigan piece, so there's about a two inch gap between them. Pin the fabric down. To cut out the front cardigan pieces, you'll simply cut a straight line across that 2 inch gap in the fabric and then follow along the shape of your back cardigan piece by cutting along the bottom, up the side, and along the armhole, shoulder, and neckline, again cutting straight across that little gap in the fabric. Unpin and remove the back piece, then on this new larger front piece, cut right along the folded edge of the fabric all the way from the neckline down to the bottom edge, just like I am. As you'll see when you unfold it, you'll have created two separate pieces for the front of your cardigan. Lay the back piece out and lay one of the front pieces on top of it with correct sides of the fabrics facing together. Pin and sew along the shoulder and side, sewing this and all your seams with a half inch seam allowance, always remembering to backstitch when you start and stop sewing. Since we're using stretch fabric, use a ballpoint needle and either a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch which will allow your seams to be able to stretch when you stretch the fabric. I used a zigzag stitch for all my seams on this cardigan. Lay the opposite side down and repeat the process so now the bodice of the sweater is sewn together. To make a sleeve pattern, lay out your jacket template so that the sleeve is straightened out where this top straight edge is the folded edge of the sleeve and you can see this curved seam which should look like half of a bell shape. 
lay a see-through piece of paper like tissue or tracing paper down so the straight edge is lined up with the sleeve's folded edge and begin tracing the sleeve by following along that curved seam. Continue along the diagonal edge and bottom edge of the sleeve, then write on your paper where the folded edge was so you don't forget. Remove the sweater and add new lines a half inch larger than your traced lines to add seam allowance on all sides except for the folded edge, then cut out your pattern which should look something like this. Fold another portion of fabric over and pin your pattern down onto the fabric's fold. Cut around it and then when you unfold the fabric you'll have a sleeve cut out, then cut a second sleeve. Fold your sleeves in half with correct sides facing together and pin and sew along the long edges, then turn them right side out. Go to the very top of the curve of the sleeves, which are the points that will sit at your shoulder, and use a straight pin to mark this point on each sleeve, which is helpful when attaching them to the bodice. With the sleeves turned right side out and the bodice turned inside out, Grab one sleeve and flip it so you're holding the part that will sit at your wrist. Slide it in through the armhole of the bodice so the correct sides of the fabrics are facing together, and when the armholes line up, match up the shoulder seam on your bodice to the point you marked with a pin on the sleeve and pin them together here. Then match up and pin together the armpit seams of both pieces. And finally, pin in smaller increments around the entire armhole to prepare the pieces for sewing. When you finish pinning, sew around the armhole to secure the sleeve, and then repeat the process to attach the other sleeve. Now to make a hood pattern, lay the hood of your jacket template out and rotate it so that the hood is folded in half. You should see a seam running along the whole curved portion along the back of the head and a seam running along the neckline. Lay another sheer piece of paper down and trace the hood shape, first by tracing that seam along the neckline and then tracing along the edges of the hood. Remove the sweater and add a half inch of seam allowance along the back curve and along the neckline, and then for the front you'll actually add about 2 inches. This is because when we cut out the front of our sweater we added 2 inches, so we have to add the same to the front of the hood to make sure they match up. Cut the pattern out and it should look something like this. I'm sorry I don't have this on camera, but to cut the hood pieces, fold your fabric in half, pin the pattern down, and cut around it. Since the fabric was folded, you'll have two pieces cut out, one for the left and one for the right side. Lay them with correct sides facing together and pin and sew along the back curved edge. To attach the hood, turn the cardigan inside out and the hood right side out. Open up the neckline of your cardigan like so, then open up the hood. Flip it over and lay it onto the cardigan so the correct sides of the fabrics face together and the necklines line up. Pin them together in the very center by pinning the seam on the hood to the center of the cardigan's neckline, then work your way outward, pinning every couple of inches until the entire hood is pinned, then sew across the neckline to attach the pieces. To hem the front opening, turn the cardigan inside out, and starting at one of the bottom edges, fold the fabric over about a quarter of an inch once, then fold it again another quarter inch and pin it down. Continue double folding and pinning all the way up the side of the cardigan, opening up the seam allowances before folding so the hem lays flat at the seams, and repeat this process around the front of the hood and then down the other side until the whole front opening is folded and pinned. Sew around the front to secure the hem using a wider stitch like a zigzag or decorative looking stitch which helps flatten out the fabric and makes it look neat. 
Hem the sleeves and bottom edge by double folding and sewing as well, and now your cardigan is complete. So bundle up and enjoy your creation. Thanks for watching. If you're getting tired, your foot is. Oh, shoot. Are you Thank you. The way again, the hook is inside of it upside down. Thank you. One more shot of the hood, and I'm done. Burr, there was snow all in the top of my hood. That was not the smartest move. It's cold.